everyone, my name is Magic Pika. I'm a local streamer which over on twitch.tv and welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday, which means we go over the Black Desert Online news and patch notes and events all together, me and you, both in a beginner kind of a way so that we both know what is going on in Black Desert Online currently. Also, I am live, so if you need somebody to hang out with, to chat, to yap or to listen to or get your Twitch drops from, I'm that girl for you. All of my socials are linked down below. And with that all being said and done, let's hop into the first event. And the first event is the newsletter event that is going to be continued on to uh, September 5th instead of August 31st. So by subscribing to the Black Desert newsletter, you get a free code. You get free codes. Two of them, you're going to send it to either a friend that is new to the game and is still currently considered by the game as a new player or a returning adventurer, which means I think you had to be offline of the game for 30 days. So you are going to be one of the returning adventurers. For then um, completing this quest line, you have to have the Jodine saga completed. That goes for the returning adventurer that is fixed, just the Jodine saga. And for the uh, new players, you had the three different kinds of quests that you could have completed. But the Jodin Saga is one of those as well. So, like we said, you receive the newsletter from Black Desert with three unique codes. You invite two of those friends uh, and give them the coupon codes. As a little show of a little appreciation and a warm welcome back. And then don't forget to get yourself one of those codes as well. So that you can get for free the Sealed Book of Combat and the Sealed Book of life so we have gone over all of the things that we need to do and then for inviting one friend back for to the game you get the shoot at black classic set and for inviting two friends you get the enhancement health kit free and the life enhancement cap free for free as well as the radiant shakato seal which you can later on exchange for a lot of different kind of things so that is really nice so yeah for the eligibility for being a new player you have to be, uh, you have to have the game package purchased by yourself and complete one of these three quests, as well as for the returner, be eligible for the returning adventurer status from starting from August 8th, and then have one of these three games uh, bought and earned now, obviously, and uh, then uh, complete the Jordan saga as well over there. And yeah, the first newsletter wave was sent out on August 8th, and the second one was sent out on August 14th. But let's continue on with our next event. And the next event is going to be continue with the Red Battlefield. So they have um, moved at the time of the ending of the event. They have moved it until August 29th instead of August 22nd now. And currently we do not have any other kind of um, Red ba PvP um, event happening. Instead, it's just the Red Battlefield currently where you're going to go into the Red Battlefield with more people than just three or like more people than you need in the war of roses the arena of solaire and the war of roses are currently not running well the you can do the um, practice runs in arena of solaire but war of roses is still currently not running and the guild league pvp is also currently not running so that is what is happening and we have the red battlefield that is gonna happen you get a lot of things from the red battlefield by participating and by winning so you can participate from 5 pm to 11 pm north american time and from 7 pm to 1 am from european time engage in the team's battle and claim the spoils based on the total wins that you have in total during this event period with the main win of 10 wins being the advice of bikes plus 100 so if you get to 10 wins you get an advice of bikes plus 100 which is really really neat that is a plus four. And with that all being the two only events that are currently running in Black Desert Online, we already have the patch notes. And the patch notes do address the Red Battlefield. And they have improved the process to completing the, um, the quest for the Red Battlefield. So previously, you had to go back into the Red Battlefield and go to Das and talk to him to complete the quest but they've now changed it so that you can go and just talk to the black spirit and you do not have to re-enter the red battlefield to just complete the quest if you by accident already left like i did like i have one running for like ages now <laughs> but i just forgot 
that I had that running and um, I never went back into the red battlefield because that seemed like such a hassle to me. <laughs> I'm a very easy person and that seemed like a hassle to me so I did never go back into the red battlefield to complete just the quest because I still have that running. But if you want to complete it like me now, we can just go and talk to the back spirit and you can complete the quest as well. They also changed the completion rewards for the red battlefield. The basic rewards were previously the giant, the draw and the whale tandem potions and ancient spirit dust. And we had selectable rewards of the Tinder's juice. They've now changed so that we only have the corrupt oil of immortality and the super whale tandem potion. I don't know if that's a plus or a minus. It seems like a minus to me, but I'm not very, um, I, I don't know very much about the potions. The one that was really nice for me was always the Spirit Perfume Elixir and Giant Draft and Ancient Spirit Dust. Is really nice. Because you can make cron um, cover stones out of those. But now you get those two things as well as the Thintos juices for free uh, as a basic. And then you have one selectable reward, which is either the Perfume of Courage, the Cast Elixir and the per Perfume of Charm. So what I would go for would always be the Perfume of Courage. Um, but it's, that is just me because I am a simple girl <laughs> and I do not know what to do. And they've also increased now the amount of combat EXP uh, upon wins and defeats in the red battlefield. So they've changed it up quite a bit. So they start at 26% now from level 50 to 32.5% as well as like from level 64 and they have done quite a bit of an improvement like from 0.012 to 0.016 it seems like minuscule but it is quite a huge um xp that you can get from just participating in the red battlefield and then we have the monster changes so they have um, announced that there will be new, uh, free new Dekia monster zones introduced in the, the Black Desert Global Lab last week. And they announced this time that the addition of the Crescent Shrine Dekia's Lantern Tier 1. Furthermore, they have also now added two Dekia Lanterns, uh, that, well, two monster zones of Dekia Lanterns in the Land of the Morning Light. Without the Sovereign Weapon, these zones present uh, a formidable challenge. So you will need the new weapon to make that happen. And emphasize damage and deduct reductions and evasion. To ensure the growth and success of our adventurers, we have prioritized the introduction of new artifacts specialized in these attributes. So they are still gonna implement these things. So we still need to wait a little bit until all of this will be not only on the global lab but in the official black desert online as well and then we have the dekia lantern which is for crescent shrine that has been happening so the zone where it is is gonna be the void infested obsidian altar and the recommended ap is 310 with a recommended dp of 400 Honestly, I still wonder sometimes how I should get up to 400 in DP. Uh, but I think it, it is possible. I'm still just very much stuck on my boots and on my accessories. But yeah, that is that is a, a, a talk for another time. If you want me to talk about like my gear progression and how I progressed in gear, like that's not going to be a guide. But if you want to know how I uh, progressed my gear and what my years have been in Black Desert Online, and how I got to my gear, then please let me know. I would really uh, enjoy making a video out of it, but I don't know if people really want to hear that from me. So yeah, the Crescent uh, the Shrine Lantern is gonna spawn here and they changed some of the terrain in Olin's Valley as well. In accordance, increase the number of regions where Olin's power tower appears to fall, which can activate the Dekia's Lantern. So that is also very nice. And with that all being said and done, we already went over all of the patch notes and events and now the pearl shop is the only thing that is still gonna be interesting for us. So, we have, we have a new thing and that is that they changed the portions uh, of the Stygian with outfit set, armor, gloss and shoes description. So that is cool and they've 
the the outfit that is exclusive to 2024 uh, the summer outfit is gonna leave the pearl shop with this week so if you want to snatch one of these up you can do that so now they also added a new dosa outfit this again rough which is really cool the tabak and they also added the summer week free premium outfit pack as well that is really nice that has been everything that is very interesting to as well to me i think to us all in general with that being said and done we went over everything already so i really hope you enjoyed this video from this week and yeah that's been it i hope you have a lovely lovely time if you like the videos and if you want to check out the stream and all social other than that they are linked down below in the description box and also while you're down there i would really appreciate a follow and a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and with that being said and done i will see you next week with another black desert online patch notes review and soon hopefully a new video bye bye everyone